Hey, we're Amber and Matt, and last summer we bought a truck camper and travelled from Newfoundland all the way to Alberta. We spent the winter in Banff and are now getting ready for our next adventure. Alaska, here we come. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. We are still in Banff, but only just. Um, we finished work yesterday. We've been working in Banff all, uh, all winter to fund our travel for this summer. Um, but today we go and pick up the camper, so it all begins again. Our friends stored our camper for us very kindly about an hour or so away from here, so we're going to go and grab that. Um, grab is probably an understatement. I think it might be a little bit of a challenge, but we'll see. Um, and yeah, we've got about a week left in Banff, um, so we've got quite a few jobs to do, um, just little jobs, bits of repairs that we need to do, things that we didn't have last summer that we'd like to have this summer um, and also um, where we're heading which I'm sure we'll get onto we uh, it's going to be a little bit more remote so we want to make sure we're all prepared um, so yeah follow us along for odds and ends sorts of jobs for this week and we'll see how it goes. Matt has just gone to take the spare tyre off the truck before we put the camper on it because we are getting a new one this week so that needs to be off before the camper goes on and make the job a bit easier. Um, and kindly, some of our friends in Cochrane are storing some of our things for us um, while we go on our trip, just to save weight for us. So um, things like our skis, boots, um, and our like super heavy winter clothes um, are being looked after very kindly by them. So thank you. Um, so I'm just gonna pull that all out of our cupboard now and um yeah get going <laughs> Sorry if you can hear that, the washing is very clearly on, making the use of having washing facilities while we still can. Um, we've done some fresh laundry there. But um, yeah, so we left you yesterday when we just picked up the camper from Cochrane and we just brought it home, made a chicken pie, and then I had my leaving drinks from work last night, which was really good. So we had a bit of a chilled, slow morning this morning um, and we're about to get started on some things for the camper. I'm just gonna do some tidying and general stuff in the flat now. But um, yeah, we've got some cleaning out of the truck to do. We've got to clean the camper, even though before we stored it, we did a really thorough clean. So it's actually fine inside. Like there's no smells, there's no mold, there's no damp, it's great. So. That's good. One thing that is an issue is we can't open the fridge door because um, we have a little freezer um, and we think that the freezer door has fallen off um, and has jammed somehow. So Matt's out trying to sort that right now um, and then we're gonna just clean inside there. Um, and yeah, that's the plan for the day really. Um, so let's get cracking. So when winterizing the camper, I popped the freezer door loose in the fridge, thinking that it'll be safer there. And unfortunately it seems to have uh, slid off into, I think maybe one of the door pockets or something of the camper, oh, sorry, of the fridge. So now the fridge door won't open. So I'm trying to now remove the fridge door 
and obviously the one tool that I need I don't have so uh, it's gonna be fun I'm gonna walk to home hardware to get the tool that I need because sometimes you might as well just do it the right way the only spanner that they didn't have in home hardware the one I needed so I'll continue to try for a little bit but it might just be that I have to put this job on hold until Wednesday when we're going into Canmore so I can get the right spanner because there's no way I'm driving an hour round trip for one spanner when we're going there anyway on Wednesday ah good fun we're both back in the camper yay woohoo that's doing some drug stuff, but I'm just mainly excited. So I've done a quick clean of the camper now. Um, it really didn't need much, so that was great. Um, we've just been parked on the road, but that's gonna bring it round here so we can plug in, get the battery charged up a little bit, um, and dewinterize it, so kind of flush everything into the grey tank, the antifreeze or whatever you put in it. Um, and yeah so we can get the slide out and clean there um, and do all the bits, yay. So in true fashion, that did not go to plan. Um, cannot fit on the little kind of driveway that our neighbors have. So not sure what the plans are gonna be now, but fun little drive. Got to see the camper driving again. Cute, but who knows. So we've got a plan, we're going to go to the Tiller Mountain campsite in Banff um, and leave the camper there overnight plugged in to see if it fully charges up the battery, um, slide out, be able to fill up the full water tank so we can flush out um, all of the stuff that winterized it. Um, yeah, and we can get the bus back, it's a free bus if you park at the if you camp at Tunnel Mountain, you can get a free bus into the town of Banff and then it just costs $2 to get back. Um, and they're super regular, like it's, it's fantastic. I think it's the best campsite, just purely because you can stay basically in Banff, get the bus. And we basically lived there for the first three weeks that we arrived to Banff and got jobs but hadn't had housing yet. So it's great. So that's what we're gonna do. We're having a spot of lunch. Um, we just booked that online, um, yeah, and I think that's a perfect solution for us. Yes, we have to like pay for it, um, but it's a good price to pay to be able to get everything sorted. Um, just because we don't have the convenience of parking near our electric, um, and obviously we don't have a dump station at our flat. Um, yeah, so it's getting back into the swing of thinking about all these things. Um, Matt's just popped to get some bleach from the supermarket so that we can just clean out the water lines and things um, and leave that to just get rid of any nasties. So yeah, it's so great to have it back and see, see it again. Um, it's much bigger than I remembered it being, but that's okay. And um, yeah, it's, it's exciting. It's starting again. Um, we're back to a summer of adventure. So we've arrived at the campground and we're just gonna hook up and yeah, get her charged. There he is, where's an appearance? So, check the battery voltage. Um, I think it just needs fully charging because it's um, only got a little bit of charge at the moment. Um, so, this is one of the downsides of not having a, a, a uh, driveway that you can park your camper in and leave it plugged in for a couple of weeks or something. Um, so yeah, I think we'll leave it plugged in um, make sure the um, kind of water system is ready to go and then maybe flush all of the coolant out of the lines 
we can go from there really but um it's slow progress especially when, like i say when you can't do it in your driveway what's the plan then stan so leave the camp here tonight get it charged up make sure the battery uh, is good to go chill tomorrow wednesday get a spare tire and some other bits that we need from the canadian tire and then not worry about dewinterizing it until we move into it which might seem a bit um, a bit much but just means that we can sleep well for the next week without having to worry that our lines are going to freeze because it is going to snow a lot so yeah although i would quite like to stay in it tonight now now that we're here <laughs> <laughs> me too <laughs> got the heater going and everything 20 degrees in here, it's lovely in the morning. <laughs> <laughs>
I was thinking that I'd have to like lift the camper up but it turns out that the way that the um, release for the spare tire is angled um, means that it works with the uh, camper on so kind of a bit dodgy doing it on the side of the road but you know like we've, like we've said before it's uh, it's a lot easier to do these things when you've got a a uh, what's the word an alley oh sorry a driveway but got to do what you got to do good morning it's thursday still a bit rough and damp and it's zero degrees but it's wet so finally it feels a bit colder than when it was like minus 10. so we're going to fix the door in the fridge um yeah that's today's job on the fridge door. Oh, that's good. Nothing got broken, so... And, uh, yeah, we'll probably fire the fridge up in a couple of days, make sure it's nice and cold when we move all the stuff in. Not long to go. It's a bit like a fridge. You could probably just leave everything on the side <laughs> in here. It's a frigid isn't it? <laughs> Brr. <laughs> Brr. <laughs> so Matt's gone to get the jackery to check the tyre pressures of the truck. I'm just alone in my house. Um, I don't know if you can tell, we're pretty excited about being back in here. Um, and I don't think we updated you on the battery, but um, it seems to be holding the charge, which is good. So it says it's about two thirds charged, um, which is good. We I think we thought it was going to be fully charged after obviously being plugged in all night at the campground, but we'll take what we can get. So touch wood. Um, the four, minus 14, minus 45 didn't do too much damage to our little battery. Um, so yeah, we're ticking along. <laughs> oh! <laughs> She's loud. That's what you want. What do you want? There we go. Woo! Oh, safe. <laughs> Fire safe in here. Got our extinguisher, got a smoke alarm. So it's another day in paradise. Um, we've just started moving stuff into the camper. Um, so we've bought, we've put our like kitchen stuff in. We've put like just some of like our bits and bobs that we're not going to need for the next 48 hours. Um, I fired up the fridge, which is, uh, is already cold, which is great, but I think it's like zero degrees in the camper anyway. So it's, it's not cooling it down much more than it already is. Um, and then we started doing some planning and we have gone and abused my the last bit of my uh, staff discount to get ourselves whoops a zolio so which is basically like a satellite communicator because the more i look at the dempster highway the more i think it might be cool to do it and the one thing that we would definitely want um, if we were going to do that would be um, a satellite communicator um, means that we can send texts when we're out of service like signal areas and stuff um, so yeah follow along for me to have some fun figuring out how to use this earlier <laughs> our last day in an actual house we are just 
beginning our final pack up now. Had some breakfast and the plan is to get everything moved into the camper that needs to go in the camper and then have a last have a last clean and tidy. Um, a little bit of a mess right now, but you know, moving house is what happens. Um, went for a nice little walk around town last night before uh, before going to bed and uh, I'm glad we did because it's pretty grey and horrible out there today so um, we made the most of the nice evening and yeah we're camping in Banff tonight um, just as a bit of a trial um, we've still got to um, yeah de-winterize um, so there's a little bit still to do but it's easier being in somewhere that you know for the first night really so yeah Let's do it. So bed's made. We've got a new blanket. Very exciting times. And it's starting to look a bit more like home. We're getting there. When the slide out's not out, it's not quite as easy to get around. So we're basically all packed up and we're going out for lunch at one of the <laughs> at one of the first restaurants we went to when we came to Banff, so it's one of our faves. And yeah, it's, it's dipping raining, it down. Which is great. So that's fun for moving. But you know, it means we get to test out our rain gear in preparation. For the west coast i so. really wanted to tie my reindeer out today yeah really wanted to yeah <laughs> so the house is all packed up most of it well all of it is in our actual house that we own technically um and we're just going to tell a mountain we're staying there tonight i think matt might have said earlier um and it's still raining so it's a good introduction to this whole living in a camper again just everything getting soaked um but yeah, having fun. Yay. So we made it to the campground. We filled up with some water, although that was a bit of a palaver because um, we think they've put the hoses on the wrong bits. I think they've put the fresh water hose on the bit where people wash out their dump hose and everything, so it's all a bit of a faff. But we're in our spot and the heat is already on because it's a bit chilly uh, now and we're just basically going to tidy and sort. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for us today. Um, and next time you'll see us on our way to Vancouver. Yep. See you later. See you. Bye.